Hello, I'm Auntie Dana, and it's almost July 1st. July 1st means it's Canada Day, and I live in Canada, so I have picked a very Canadian book, A Moose in a Maple Tree, and this book is by Troy Townsend, illustrated by Jennifer Harrington. <laughs> now I thought all decked out because in Canada, on Canada Day we have parades downtown and music festivals and decorations. Um, a moose in a maple tree. And there's the moose that I have. After the story, we're going to make our own moose and I'll show you how. And I would like to say one more quick, very important thing is that in Canada Day celebrations, please include something orange, right? That's in the true spirit of truth and reconciliation. Thank you. A moose in a maple tree. Now, it looks like a Christmas book, but believe me, it has everything Canadian that if you don't live in Canada, that's what you think of. On the first day of Christmas, a Canuck, which is a Canadian, sent to me a moose in a maple tree. <laughs> I'm just like, how did he get up there? On the second day of Christmas, a Canuck, a Canadian, sent to me two polar bears and a moose in a maple tree. Oh, there they are in the Arctic. The cold. On the third day of Christmas, a Canuck, a Canadian, sent to me three snowmen, two polar bears, and a moose in a maple tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, a Canuck sent to me four totem poles, three snowmen, two polar bears, and a moose in a maple tree. And that reminds me, those beautiful totem poles. I'm also wearing um, the medicine wheel earrings. On the fifth day of Christmas, a Canuck sent to me five hockey sticks, four totem poles, three snowmen, two polar bears, and a moose in a maple tree. How'd he get up there? On the sixth day of Christmas, a Canuck sent to me six whales breaching, five hockey sticks, four totem poles, three snowmen, two polar bears and a moose in a maple tree oh god love the orcas on the seventh day of christmas a canuck sent to me seven beavers building six whales breaching five hockey sticks four totem poles three snowmen two polar bears and a moose in a maple tree <laughs> there they are Beavers building a dam, that's what they do. On the eighth day of Christmas, a Canuck sent to me eight lobsters nipping. Oh my, six, seven beavers building, six whales breaching, five hockey sticks, four totem poles, three snowmen, two polar bears, and a moose in a maple tree. And look at all those lobsters. You can find lobsters um, off the coast of Vancouver or Nova Scotia. What number are we at, guys? Number nine. On the ninth day of Christmas, a Canuck sent to me nine Mounties riding, eight lobsters nipping, seven beavers building, eight whales breaching, five hockey sticks, four totem poles, three snowmen, two polar bears, and a moose in a maple tree. And there's the Canadian, Royal Canadian Mounties, Mounted Police. Mm -hmm. On the 10th day of Christmas, <laughs> a Canuck sent to me 10 salmon leaping. Wow. Nine Mounties riding, eight lobsters nipping, seven beavers building, six whales breaching, five hockey sticks, four totem poles, three snowmen, two polar bears, and a moose in a maple tree. Oh my goodness. Is he going to be stuck up there forever? 
on the 11th day of Christmas, a Canuck, a Canadian, sent to me 11 dogs mushing. And there they are, dogs pulling a sled way up in the north where it's so cold. 11 sled dogs mushing, 10 salmon leaping, 9 mounties riding, 8 lobsters nipping, 7 beavers building, 6 whales breaching, 5 hockey sticks, 4 totem poles, 3 snowmen, 2 polar bears, and a moose in a maple tree. Yeah, okay. Coming on the 12th day, what could it be? Wow. On the 12th day of Christmas, a Canuck sent to me 12 skier skiing, 11 dogs mushing, 11 salmon leaping, 9 mantis riding, 8 lobsters nipping, 7 beavers building, 6 whales breaching, 5 hockey sticks, 4 totem poles, 3 snowmen, 2 polar bears, and... A moose in a maple tree, and oh my goodness, look at everyone's in the maple tree. <laughs> the whales, the skiers, the lobsters. Oh my goodness. What a sight. What a story. Okay, how are we going to make our own moose? Let me show you. Now, this is where you're going to put it. Put your, on the ground, you're gonna trace your foot, okay? So I'm just showing you what to do here. I've already traced my foot. That's the first thing. And that's gonna end up being the moose's face. And the second thing is, you're gonna trace your hand. Let's see, put my thumb where my thumb is. Trace your hand. You just need to do one hand, right? So put it on the paper, put a pen around it. And then you're going to fold that in half. So then when you cut it out, right? I've already cut mine out, but I just want to show you a bit. When you're cutting it out, they're going to be exactly the same because they're going to be moose antlers. Okay, let's see how this is going to go. Here's the moose head, believe it or not. How, what do you think we can do to make it look more like a, a moose's head? Should we give him some eyes? I think so. That would be kind, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's do two green eyes. And you can do this as simple or take your time. Nice as you would like. Oh, I've got silly green eyes, but that's okay. <laughs> And to Dana. Yes, yes, I know. Let's do two green eyes. <laughs> you never know sometimes, right? But there, two dots for two green eyes. And then when you think of a moose having a really big nose. Yeah. Let's give him two dots on the end of his nose so he, so he can breathe, right? Again, all in the name of kindness. Now, since that's my foot already there, I already cut out my hands. And here's one. What happens is we are going to glue. We're going to glue one of the edges here. Ah, okay. Yeah, I didn't get my easel today. It's warm, Auntie Dana made her fan. Okay, that's the back side. Nope, that's the eye, the green eyes. So there, we got half a moose. <laughs> Let's find the other set of antlers. Okay, here we go, here we go. Get the glue on that edge, because it's gonna go behind. There is our moose. <laughs> okay, I think he needs to look a little bit more like a real moose, so we're gonna put him on 
a red background, red for Canada Day. Canada Day's colors are red and white, if you, if you didn't guess. Okay, Mr. Moose, are you ready for your debut? Are you guys ready to see? Ta-da! And a moose in a maple tree. Thank you so much. I hope you learned a little bit about the things in Canada. And I hope you have a happy day celebrating. And remember, when you want to hear a story out loud, come visit Auntie Dana. Always Auntie Dana is who you want to hear. Take care, guys. Bye for now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>